BAM! Yeah! What's up YouTube? This is Nick Ross and I just want to officially introduce you guys to Body of Legends and basically what channel can be consistent of is my progress looking to compete next year um, right now it's March 5th 2013 Gonna be competing next year, probably next year, October 2014. So I have a long way away. Right now, 20 years old, five foot nine and a half, 217 pounds. I'm gonna show how I got to point A to point B. Cause you know what, I'm gonna win. A lot of people go on stage for experience, so I want to know how it is to compete. I want to go on stage and flex, and that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. But you know what, I want to win. I mean, experience is a good thing, but I want to win. Whatever I do in my life, I want to be a champion. I want to be great at it. I want to be the best. And I'm going to ensure my victory by putting in my fucking work. I'm going to work my ass off. And I'm going to be the best on that stage because I want to win, man. I want to be a champion. Am I safe for walking out on us? Oh, or am I I'm 21 years old and I am from the Cayman Island. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use because you can't stop it from Arab shining. Grand through. It's a very small island, and a lot of people, when they hear someone coming from the Cayman Islands, the Caribbean, going overseas to compete, their first thought is that, oh, this guy isn't gonna be anyone, this guy isn't gonna make it, he's not gonna mount anything, he's just gonna come in fourth or sixth, he's not even gonna place well. Um, so right off the bat, coming where I come from, I don't really have, you know, the best perception of myself, you know, by other, by other people's eyes. You know, a lot of people will say that, you know, Caribbean people are lazy or Cayman Islands people, Caymanians are lazy, and you know what, that's not the case with me. I definitely work extremely hard and I put myself through what I needed to put myself through in order to bring in my physique to be competitive in natural bodybuilding. Training for FitCom was the most difficult experience I've ever been through in my whole life. But when you want something as bad as you want to breathe, when you want something, you know, even more than what life itself, I mean, you, you just want it. It is everything to you. You live for this. You will die for this. This is everything. That is when you will win. That is when you will be a champion. That mindset of doing whatever it takes is what you need to do in order to win. And even if you don't win the show or even if you don't win the event that you're competing at, you are still the winner because you gave it your all. And that is what I did. That is what I am doing. 
giving this my complete all. Let's go. I'm the type of person that will continue to push and push and push. And when I can't push anymore, I will still push because I want it that bad. And I put my body through complete hell with the lack of proper carbohydrates, the lack of um, a good amount of calories with the extreme workout regimen of working out close to two or three times a day. Pro I've probably gotten four days of rest within the last 15 weeks if I'm lucky. And I'm barely getting any sleep. I'm talking three to four hours of sleep a night if I'm lucky. Um, you know, my body is just completely destroyed. It is completely broken down. And you guys, see me working out and you see me getting my reps in and doing my sets but what you don't see is the amount of pain you know how difficult this is how unbelievably hard it is to push at this stage right now my body fat is under five percent and pushing these levels is something that not a lot of people have inside of them to do It takes a real bodybuilder to push the pain because that person knows that this is what it takes for them to get to where they want to be. Today is the 20th of May 2014 and we are three days out of FitCon. Um, just updating you guys on letting you know what my peak week protocol is going to be. Uh, today is Tuesday. So the show is going to be on Saturday. I've been drinking a lot of water. So Monday, which was yesterday, I drank three of these, three gallons of water. Today is Tuesday, drinking two gallons of water. Tomorrow is going to be Wednesday. That's going to be one gallon of water. Thursday, half a gallon. Friday, quarter gallon. And then Saturday, I'm just going to be sipping. As you can see, this is not regular water. Uh, this is a dehydration formula that I made. Now this video is not to tell you how to make it, you know, but just know that I'm drinking water, but the purpose of this water is to get water out of my body. And I'm drinking a lot of it right now, but as weeks, as the days, you know, get close and close to the show, I'm tapering my water back. Now with the diet, um, I'm starting to carb up from now. I'm doing a very moderate carb up because like I said before in previous videos, my body holds a lot of glycogen. I always have a roundness to my physique, so I don't really need to load up on a lot of carbs. But this is how I'm gonna do it. So Monday, which was yesterday, I ate 50 grams of carbs. Today, Tuesday, 100 grams of carbs. Tomorrow, Wednesday, 150. Thursday, 200. Friday, 200. And then Saturday, I'm just gonna have 40 grams of carbs every two and a half hours before the show. And that's how I'm gonna you know, go about my carbs. As I increase carbs, protein is gonna decrease. So yesterday was 200 grams of protein. Today is gonna be 195. Tomorrow, which is gonna be Wednesday, is gonna be 185. And then I taper it down all the way to about 160 grams come show day. So. You know, just a quick update on how I'm, you know, doing my prep and how I'm peaking my physique. And, you know, I can confidently say that I'm ready right now. Yes, I can step on stage right now and be confident, much less a few days from now. Um, you know, you guys have followed me from the complete beginning. You know, some people have been here from when I was bulking at 2.30 and now, you know, 160 pounds competing in a few days on stage looking to get my pro card. And this is what you call crunch time. You know, I'm going to go to the gym right now, do an hour of posing, going to tan for an hour, sauna for an hour, and 
you know, just kind of, I'll, I'll do cardio, but it's not really cardio. Um, the type of cardio that I'm doing is about 30 minutes, but, you know, I'm walking on the treadmill, you know, incline is about at, you know, 9, 9.0, so it's pretty high incline, walking at a pace of 3.0, so, yes, I'm on a treadmill walking, but the specific reason of me walking and doing cardio for 30 minutes on a high incline every single step i am squeezing my glutes every single step i'm contracting my hamstrings every single step when i stretch at the bottom to step back up i'm focusing on tension on my quads so that 30 minutes of cardio is not exactly cardio it is more emphasis on my legs and being able to contract the muscles in my legs that is the purpose of it so i'll sweat I'll burn a little bit of calories, but my main purpose of doing 30 minutes of cardio is to squeeze and contract and really create a better mind-muscle connection with my legs, hamstring, glutes, and quads, and even my calves. Every single step, my calves are squeezed, flexed, contracted, and you know that is the reason why I'm doing 30 minutes of cardio, and that is every day till Thursday. So I, have, I did it yesterday, gonna do it today, gonna do it Wednesday, gonna do it Thursday and cut it out. Friday is just going to be a very moderate day of posing and a lot of rest because at that point I really can't do anything besides pose and hold the poses and just work a little better on how I hold those. So it's a little update on how my peak is going. Um, you know guys, this is... <sighs> this is everything. This is everything. Okay, so I'm here at the passport office, just picked up my passport. Uh, being a British Overseas Territory country, we need special documents to enter the U.S. So, just picked up my special documents with my passport. And also, let me show you, what you, let me show you guys what this is real quick. Now, this is something that all bodybuilders need. You really cannot step on stage without this. You can't do it. You just can't and if you do you will probably not win because your physique will not be presented as it should I'm sure you guys have some idea of what I'm talking about here we are this is my tanner this is dream tan there we go uh, dual action tanning spray um, it's the darker version so you know I'm already tan naturally I'm a brown skin guy so I don't really need to add a heavy coat of tanner but I would say one nice coat layer my body over with really should give me a nice glow but you really should not step on stage if you are not tan because with those lights hitting you from um, the top down it's gonna wash away your physique and if you are not dark then you're gonna come like a ghost especially if someone is black competing against you even worse so you know black skin brown skin white skin regardless make sure that you are tan enough make sure that you're dark because that also will you know make or break you extremely important guys so I have my tanner uh, what is this it came in some kind of pouch so I guess this is the applier, you know, you spray it on and you apply it, I guess. Uh, these supplements it came with, you know, complimentary supplements. Thank you very much, Bivin.com. So I'm going to head to the gym and get an hour of posing in, plus my 30 minutes of cardio. And um, go through the rest of the day. Hey, what's up, guys? Here at the spa. Uh, going to be using the sauna and steam room. Just to get water out of my body on pretty much. All the fat's gone, just got a little layer of water. So gonna sauna for about half an hour, steam room for about half an hour. And if any one of you guys ever use a sauna, definitely remember to have your water on deck, okay? I'll be drinking this during my whole entire sauna. Just taking sips. And um, you know, like I just said, it's very important to stay hydrated because you're sweating out you know, liters and liters of liquid. 
you definitely need to put that liquid back into your body. You can't just sweat it out and not put it back in because your body is made of about 78% water, something like that. It's a lot of water your body is made up of. So yes, the point of saunaing is to get the water out of your body, but getting that water out, you need to also put it back in. So have your water on deck, drink it while you're in the sauna, and sweat. And you'll definitely notice that when you're sweating, in the beginning it's gonna taste like salt, but afterwards it's gonna start tasting like water. That's what you want. So the second you start tasting your sweat like water, you're done. So go take from the guy. Oh. Okay, so that was the steam room. I do recommend going in the steam room first before you go to sauna because the steam room is going to open up your pores and if your pores are open you're just you know going to sweat more so as you can see I'm now in the sauna I really can't keep the camera here for too long because the temperature is just so hot but like I just said um steam room first for about 10 minutes you don't need steam room too long but it's going to open up your pores so when you do come inside here now you're just going to sweat more so what I actually like to do is I like to hold poses while I'm in the sauna now. You know, first of all, the sauna is dangerous. Please take caution. But to squeeze water out of the muscle, I'll just hold poses. So I'll be inside for about 20 minutes and I'll hold, you know, each pose for like uh, 30 seconds. Front double bicep, I'll hold that. Um, most muscular, I'll hold that. That's going to squeeze the water out of the muscle. So when I put the water back in, it's completely fresh and rejuvenated. So... Uh, just a little tip that I like to use. Definitely, you know, do things on your own terms. Do things at your own risk. Um, and have your water on deck while you're inside here. Drink it while you're inside here. Very important to hydrate because, yes, the point is to get water out of the body. But the body is made up of 80% plus water. So you really want to have that in your body while you are inside here because the last thing you want to do is die, right? So definitely hydrate. And, um... You know, if you want, if you want to take, you know, what I do, whole poses to get the water out of the muscle, then, you know, it's up to you. But I find it works for me, and that's what I'm doing, guys. Am I safe for walking out on us? Oh, or am I losing touch? Too many games now. All Chips are lost. Uh, luck was nice.